God bless you again. We are talking today about the widow in the book of 2 Kings chapter 4. Uh, when she was in that situation that everything was really bad for her. And they were about to take her sons into slavery because she owed, her husband had passed. And they were going to take her sons as slaves to, to be able to repay um, his debt. And she cried out to El Elisha. And the prophet gave her an instruction and told her, what, ask her a question first. What do you have in your house? And she thought she had nothing in her house except a little bit of oil. And maybe she could have told the prophet, who are you to come and ask me what do I have in my house? You don't know my situation. You don't live in my house. You don't know what I've been going through. You don't know how hard it has been for me. How can you ask me what do I have in my house? But you have been saying all this, and I am asking you, what is it that you have in your house? Because God will always use what you have in your house. He's not going to get something from the outside and bring it into you. Look at Jesus Christ. Yes, he, he used the five fish and the two loaves. He's going to use something that is already in your house. So I am asking you, what is it that you have in your house? Because what you have been looking for, it is in your house. It is inside of you. There's a seed inside of you. Why do you think that the enemy has been fighting you for so long? Because he knows that what is inside of you, if that thing was to be released, then you know there will be hell to pay. You know what? That, that is inside of you. is about to be released today because God is about to change something in your situation. God wants to change something in your life. God wants to change something in your circumstances. And this is going to happen, happen today in the mighty name of Jesus. What is it that you have in your house? What is it that you have left? What is it that you have left in your bank account? What is it that you have inside of you that you have not been using for the Lord? What's the word that has been spoken into your life that you have not been using? Because you have let, you have let doubt and fear and the naysayers tell you that this is too big for you. God wants to do something big in your life today. Maybe you're praying for something small. And God is saying, Pray for something big because what I want to do in your life is something big. But I have to tell you that God will always use something that is inside of you. You know, the enemy knows that there is something inside of you that needs to be pulled out today. There is something inside of you that needs to be released today. So he's using external circumstances, external thing to fight what is inside of you, to fight what is inside your house. And, and there's something that needs to be unlocked in your destiny. There is something that, is, that needs to be released. This woman thought that nothing was going to happen for her. She could just, she was about to just faint and, and just wait to die because her husband had died, and the sons were going to be taken into slavery. Can you imagine what would have been left for her? I mean, nothing. To know that you lose your husband, you lose a loved one, you lose your provider, you're missing this person that used to be there for you, be there with you. I mean, that is, that is unimaginable. That is really bad. But at least she could say, you know what, okay, so my husband is no more, but I have my sons. I can still love on them. I can still cherish them. I can get love from them. And I can use them to feel that emptiness that I'm feeling inside of me, that love that uh, I'm missing. I still have someone here that I can take care of. But no. No, the creditors want to take the sons as slaves so that the debts, debts can be paid. And she's in despair. I mean, she's depressed. She's lonely. She's missing the husband. She's in pain. When, when, she, when, she, she, when she met with prophet Elisha, will give her that instruction. And I know that you were watching me today. There is something inside of you that God wants you to pull out. I know that you don't want anybody to know what you've been going through. But let me explain something to you. To get the oil... You know that oil comes from olive. And for the oil to come out of the olive, it has to be crushed. 
the more the olive is crushed, the more oil comes out of that olive. So in that situation, you know, the woman said, I only have a little bit of oil in the container. But you know what? For this oil to be there, olive had to be crushed. And this woman was crushed. I mean, how can, what can be more crushing than her situation? So, you know you have been crushed, but I want you to know that the reason that God has, has allowed you to be crushed is because the oil has to come out of you. And today God is ready for that oil to be pouring outside of you. There is something that God has placed inside of you. There is a seed inside of you. There is something in your house that God wants to use, that God wants to be put out today. And this is a word for you who have been, who felt like, you know what, life has been so unfair to me. I have been going from one bad thing to another. My bank account is overdrawn. I don't have anything. And I am asking you, what is it that you have in your house? You are being crushed, but today is the day that God will release this all into your life. This all that is supposed to be pouring out for you to, whatever it is that the promise is, you need this all to be pouring out of you. The word of God says, the woman, she pulled out. And it is your time to pull out what is inside of you. And maybe sometimes we don't want to talk about the things that we have gone through. Because you know what? We, we don't want people to know. We feel ashamed of what has happened. But you know what? The oil is, com the oil is coming out of you because of exactly what you have been through. The oil is coming from inside of you because of what the process that you have gone through. You know, I love when we have testimony services. I like to hear what God is doing in the lives of the people. But you know what? Sometimes I want to, I know the promise. I know that God is going to do it. But I want to know what do I do while I'm waiting for it to happen. Because people come to testify, this is, this is where I was. This is where I am today. But sometimes I want to know what happened in the middle. I mean, what do I do? when I'm going through to that situation, when I'm being crushed for this oil to be coming out, out of me. She pulled out. She pulled out, and when there was no more vessels, everything was filled out, put on the side, then the oil stopped coming. God wants, do to do, God wants to do something in your life today. He wants to change your situation today. He wants to change your life today. He wants to change what you are going through today. The same way that he did it for this widow. She got, an, she got a message from the prophet and she went with it. He said, shut the door. Don't allow anything else in, just you and your son. And the also the point. Whenever the vessel became full, she put them on the side until there was no, no more. No more jars to be filled. And God wants to release something in your life today. God wants to release this oil in your life today. God wants you to know that he is on your side. He wants to help you today. Are you ready to receive? I thought I would hear you shout hallelujah right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You need to have somebody in your life that can help you to unlock your destiny, that can let you know this is that what the, God's word for you. This is God's plan for you. And this is what I'm doing for you today. I'm letting you know. I have been sent here by God to let you know that he's about to release something in your life. The oil is about to pour, overflow. This is going to be overflowing blessing in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is going to completely release your breakthrough in your life today. This is the day for your breakthrough. This is the day for your miracle. This is the day that God is changing something in your life. You are going to meet abundant life. It is not, it's, right now, it's not the time for you to faint. It's not the time for you to give up. It's not the time for you to die. It's not the time for you to give out. This is the time for you to start celebrating what God wants to do in your life today. It is a time for celebration. 
this is the day that the Lord has made. We are going to rejoice and we are going to be glad in it because the favor of God is falling upon you right now. The grace of God is with you in the name of Jesus. And your situation, God is changing it right now. Whatever challenges that you have been going through, God is releasing his blessing in it right now. He is pouring out oil into every empty vessel watching this broadcast today in the mighty name of Jesus. He is filling you up, filling you up to overflowing. Somebody is receiving a breakthrough today. Somebody is having the oil being put out on them today. You have been praying for it for so long. You have been agonizing over it for so long. But I'm here to tell you that today is the day that God is pouring out his blessing upon you. He is giving you what you have been asking him for so, so long. You are about to receive it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God is doing it in your life in the name of Jesus. And I know that many of you felt like this widow that there was no no option no alternative you thought that your life was over you had no choice but to close that business you have no choice but to allow the bank to take your house you have no choice but to close that ministry you have no choice but you know what to just wash your hands of this relationship you had no alternative you had no option for anything because it is over and God is saying, it is in your house. It is still in your house. What you have in your house, it is, this is what is going to release the blessings of God upon your life. What is it that you have? What is the word, the promise that has been spoken in your life that you have let, you know, you have doubted it. You have just, you know, not paid attention to it. You thought that it was just a joke. You thought that maybe it was too big, that it would not happen to me. Or maybe people told you that, you know what, this is just too big. You are not going to have a chain of business. You are not going to have a franchise. You are not going to own a restaurant. You are not going to have such a big ministry. You will never be on television. I don't know what it is that people have told you. You will never own a nice car. I don't know what it is that people have told you. You will never have a good job. I don't know what it is that has been going on in your life, but what I know is that God is about to change it today in the mighty name of Jesus. That job that you have been waiting for, God has opened the door for you to have it in the name of Jesus. You have been asking God to allow people to come and help you in your ministry. God has released your helpers in the mighty name of Jesus. They are going to be calling you, finding you so that they can help you make this ministry to grow in the name of Jesus. You have not had a car. You have been wanting for God to give you a good car that can take you to point A to point B. And God is about to release it in, in, your, in your life today. You have been seeking the anointing of God. You have been wanting to be filled with the Holy Ghost. You want God to do something in your life. You want to be closer to God. You want to feel the presence of God. I'm here to tell you that God is releasing his presence into your life today. God is filling you with the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. That has been the desire of your heart, to be able to spend time with God. God is making it happen for you in the name of Jesus. You are wanting for God to make your mind to be normal again because it looks like sometimes your mind is going all over the place and that you are becoming, you are like a crazy person. You cannot control your mind. You cannot control your head. But I'm here to tell you that God is straightening your mind today in the name of Jesus. God is doing it in your life. He is releasing his blessing upon your life. He is releasing the all, all, so that you can be, be used by God, so that you can be filled with God's power, God's anointing, and be used by God. God wants to do, wants to do it in your life. Listen, I want you to give me a call, 617-977-4755. I'm always happy to hear from you and to know that what God is doing in the life of, the, of his people. If this broadcast is a blessing to you, why not go on our website, newglobalharvest.com. Send us your praise report. Let us know what God is doing in your life. We, we receive so many 
praise reports from all over the world. People, God is stretching people's life through this broadcast. And all glory to God, we give him the praise for everything that he does. It is not any power of our own. It is the power, power of God. And we thank God for it. If God has done something for, for you, why not go on our website, newglobalharvest.com. Send us your praise report. Let us know that this is what God is working out in your life. I know that God is healing his people today in the name of Jesus. Because yes, you have been so sick. Yes, you have not been able to get off your bed, but you have still been praising God where you are. And God has seen it. And God is healing your body right now in the name of Jesus. Glory be unto the name of the Lord. You have been so hungry for God. You have been so hungry for God, wanting to touch the hem of his garment. But today God is allowing you to reach that level, to reach that high because he has seen your faithfulness. When you are faithful to God, God will make things happen in your life. Continue to be faithful and you will see, you will go from glory to glory what God will do in, in your life. If you have any prayer requests, go on our website, newglobalharvest.com, click on prayer requests and send us your prayer requests. All prayer warriors will continue to pray with you until you see the manifestation of what God, of the power of God in your life. God has been, is a wonderful and almighty God. He is still on the throne. He still heals and he still answers prayers. I want to give the opportunity to somebody who is watching this broadcast to know this God that I'm talking about, to allow God to have his all be be poured into your, into your life. It is as simple as inviting him to come into your heart, as inviting him to come and take control of your life. As you open the door or doors of your heart to Jesus, he will definitely come in and guide you and lead you in the place that you should, you should go. The word of God said, the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. It is as simple as you repeating this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come before you. I repent of my sins. I ask you to come into my life. I want you to be my Lord and Savior. I believe that you died for me on the cross. On the third day, you rose from the dead. And you are now sitting at the right hand of the Father, interceding for me day and night. Come into my heart. Take control of my life. Let your oil be put out into my vessel in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe if you have prayed this prayer today, you are born again. Jesus Christ has come into your life. He has taken control of your life and he will guide you in the way that you should, you should go. If you prayed this prayer with me today, give us a call at 617 977 Four seven five five. Let us know that you prayed this prayer with us today, and we will send you some biblical materials and help you in your walk with God. God wants you to have an abundant life. He, Jesus said, "I have come so that you can have an abundant life, an abundant life here on this earth, and eternal life when you go on unto glory." Hallelujah! Glory, glory to God. Oil is so precious. God wants to release his oil into your, into your life today. If you don't have a church home, we invite you to come and worship with us. We worship every Sunday at New Global Harvest Church, 6 Fontenac Street, I'm sorry, 10 Fontenac Street in Dorchester. We used to be at 6 Fontenac Street, but now we are at 10 Fontenac Street in Dorchester. We worship every Sunday at 11 a.m., 10 Fontenac Street in Dorchester. Come and worship with us. We'll be glad to have you. We'll be glad to receive you in the name of Jesus. Watch or listen to our broadcast on the radio, So Out for Christ, every Tuesday at 8 p.m. on Radio Energy, 1620 a.m., 90.1 FM on 104.7 FM. You can listen to our radio broadcast every Tuesday at 8 p.m. on Sold Out for Christ on RadioEnergyBoston.com. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Do you receive it today? 
God has done it in your life. God has changed your circumstances. All you have to do is just turn on and look and see what is in your house. It is always in your house. It is always inside of you. Because he says, all things work together for what? For good. For those who are called according to, and are called according to his purpose. God wants to work it out in you. It is working it out. It is working it inside of you. It is no respecter of person. What he did for the widow in the book of 2 Kings chapter 4, he will also do it for you. Look at this widow in the book of 2 Kings who thought that everything was over. Everything, she was just waiting to, to just die. She was ready to give up. She was feeling so much pain because there was no provider. There was no money. Her finances was completely bankrupt. There was nothing for her. But you know what? She looked for the prophet. When she met with the prophet and told the prophet her story, her story changed. Her life changed. She was able to shut the door to doubts, shut the door to fears, shut the door to the naysayers, and just trust into a word that was spoken into her life by a prophet of God. And when she followed the directions, you know what? A blessing came. I mean, overflowing blessing. Because she was able to repay the debts and she was able to have enough left for her and her, and, and her, and her children. Because when she went, sent, went back to the prophet and said, all the jars are full. There is not one left. And he said, go and sell them. Go and sell the oil. Because the oil was something that was so precious at that time. Say, go and sell the oil. And then pay back your debt. And after that, the rest of it, you use it for you and your sons. And you know what? A life changed forever. And it is the same thing for you today. When, once you hear the word of God, you take that word, you shut the door, you cherish it, your life will never be the same. God has changed your story today. Your story of pain, your story of depression, your story of financial bankruptcy, your story of debt, whatever story that you have been going through, whatever challenging situation that you have been into, God has changed it, changed it today. God has changed your story today in the mighty name of Jesus. Why not you, where you are, you shout, start shouting and clapping because you know what? Start praising the Lord because he has changed your story today. It will never be the same. It will never be the same with you. Just remember that what God has done today, it is permanent. It can never be temporary. What God does, he does it. He does it forever. Your life, your story, your circumstance, they all have been changed today to the glory of God. May God richly which he bless you. God bless you.
And Psalms 80, 8 through 10 said, And you, Lord, prepared room.